Um, and welcome back to Sonic Unleashed, everyone. And now we're finally heading tr uh, towards the um, HD version of Eggman Land, which is widely considered to be not only the hardest level in this game, but also just one of the hardest Sonic levels, period. Um, and this this stage, especially compared to the Wii version, does not pull any punches. This is a really difficult stage. There's a ton of different paths here, probably the most of any stage in this game. So you're going to have to be playing this multiple times to see everything. But rest assured, this is this is definitely going to test your skills. Uh, it's Again, it's one. It's considered one of the hardest levels in the series, um, so this is not going to be a cakewalk by any means. Um, it's also a really long stage, the definitely the longest um, stage in like I want to say the series. I I don't know if that's uh, completely accurate because Lost World 3, 3DS exists and some of those stages go on for a marathon of a of a long time. Um, so. Yeah, this is a this is a really beefy one, and I don't know why I'm fighting these guys. Mo most of the time, it's best you're best or better off just um, ignoring the enemies because not only are they like really strong, but um, some in some areas they they just respawn pretty much endlessly. Um, so most of the time, you're better off just ignoring them. Um, but if you want, I guess if you want XP, that it doesn't hurt to get some of that stuff. Um, but yeah, this is a really long stage. About on average, it will take like four, uh, thirty minutes. <laughs> um, you, on your first run, it will it will vary because of how difficult this stage can be. Um, but rest assured, you aren't going to be going through the stage in like five minutes in your first go. It does it does feel good when you go back to this um, after you've learn the stage a lot more and like can manage to beat it in like 15 minutes or so but that's definitely not going to be on your first run unless you like I don't know you're like a gaming god <laughs> or something like that but yeah one thing I do like about this stage a lot especially compared to the Wii version is that it is just one big stage because as you as you like remember in the Wii version we had like the day stage and then it go went into a few day missions, and then we had five night uh, night stages, um, which has its own benefit as well because it lets you um, like do it at your own pace. Um, you don't have to do like a massive like, a massive stage like this this version does. You can do like a couple of the night stages, then come back to it later. Um, but with that being said, though. That also makes the Wii version stages a lot more segmented, in the sense that it's not just one stage, it's like a bunch of smaller ones. Whereas in this version, you're switching between day and night, like, throughout the level. And I feel like that's a really cool idea, it's the only time that this game does that. Um, and I feel like that's a really cool way to do a final level in this game, because it's, uh, you're going through... Um, a stage that keeps changing between regular Sonic and the Werehog, and it's test and it's um the game is testing you in for both styles and um, really making you like work for getting to the end and all that. And you know, so fire finales in Sonic games aren't strangers to doing that really. Like SA two had Cannon's Core, which made you play as all the characters. Minus Shadow, um, so it tested your knowledge on all the characters there. Um, 06 had it as well, which, I mean, say what you will about that game, but um, I like the fact that they did that um, as like a final test as well. Um, you can argue <laughs> about the, the actual quality of End of the World, like that stage, is, the stage itself is garbage, but like, I like the, um, the 4 at least, um, and uh, yeah. Eggman Land here pretty much follows that trend of like being a final stage. It tests all the things you you've learned throughout the game, and yeah, I really enjoy final stages like that. No, okay, there that is a shortcut, but it's kind of hard to get up to. I could just go the normal way, but I don't want to. <laughs> 
There we go. And now we... Damn it. Yeah, that is... Dude. I'm not usually this bad at this. <laughs> Come on. I haven't played this in a hot minute, so... There we go. Okay. But yeah, I really like final stages like this that test all the... All your knowledge um, of the game and um, whatnot. And... I guess... I guess they could have, like, split this level into two, so it's not, like, super ridiculously long, um, and, like, it'll be a bit more... I don't know, I don't want to say forgiving, but I do know there's a lot of people who don't like Eggman Land because of how long and difficult it is, and I feel like if they split this level into two, that might alleviate some of that. Uh, I don't think they should, like dumbed down the difficulty or anything like that because I think it makes sense for this to be one of the hardest le levels in the series like again I mentioned this in the in the Wii version but Eggman has wanting to has been wanting to build this since SA1 and like it's been brought up several times throughout the series like in like zero gravity of all games uh, brings it up and like Eggman Land has been a project that has been in in the making for such a long time in this series that it makes sense for this to be like such a bull bustingly hard final final level and for it to be like this massive gauntlet. I feel like if it, if it wasn't that, if it was like just a regular final stage um, and there was nothing special about it, I feel like that would kind of ruin the whole point. Like this is meant to be this massive crazy gauntlet that's like super difficult to, to get through. And it, again, if it was just a simple final level that had like no like craziness to it, it wouldn't really feel like Eggman Land, so I'm, I'm personally really glad that the stage is the way it is, like, okay. Okay, <laughs> that was good. Um, minus some weird things here and there, like, again, the whole having the boost, like the air boost and the home and attack being the same button can screw you over here quite easily, um, so that can be an issue. And then there's these pipe rooms that don't have proper drop shadows which is also an issue so there, it's not perfect like there, there are things here and there that can be impro uh, improved upon um but in terms of like the level design overall i i think it's i wouldn't say perfect but it's this is the kind of like kind of difficulty i e expect from this especially since as i've been talking about throughout this playthrough Unleashed is Unleashed HD specifically. The Wii version is a lot easier, but the HD version here is easily one of the hardest Sonic games. Specifically the 3D ones. I don't know where you'd rank it in terms of like 2D stuff, but in terms of the 3D games, this is definitely one of, if not the hardest in the series. So it makes sense for it to uh, end. Okay, can I? Is there a thing here? I mean, there was, but I'd, okay. Um, but yeah. Considering how difficult this game has been up to this point, it makes sense for it to culminate in a in a final level that's just crazy. <laughs> so, yeah, and I, I really like that. And, again, it's just... I think it works. It, again, it's not perfect. Like, there are some weird issues here and there with just the core design of the game. Again, with, like, drop shadows and whatnot. But... Everything else, I think, is pretty solid here. Um, there are some, like, frame rate issues as well, which... There's been a bit of an issue with this game in general. Uh, I didn't make mention of, mention of it in Jungle Joy, just because there was so much else to talk about there. But, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this is going well. It, Yeah, the, the pipe stuff is, is a pretty big issue. I won't deny that. <laughs> Wait, can I go on this? I can. Wait, hold on. What's this? Oh, wait, okay. Oh god, what? <laughs> I don't remember- okay, uh... Exploring parts of the level can be pretty dangerous because you don't know what's go <laughs> what's there. So I, I haven't seen everything this level has. There's, again, there's a lot of places to explore her, so... Explore at your own risk. 
Oh god. Yeah, expect a lot of deaths here. That that is that is definitely for certain. Um Sometimes it is best to just take it slow. Um, if you try and rush, you'll probably end up killing yourself a lot. Okay, I do want to see what's over there. Um, actually, I think there's a checkpoint in the other- wait, no, that- I think that ends up locking the door when I do that though, so... Oh, good. Alright. Okay. Okay. And then jump off and grab onto this. Oh, it's a book. Oh! Alright. And then we jump off. Eh! I don't know why I keep on letting go. I don't know what's, what that's about. Okay, well, we we got a book, so that's fine. <laughs> we can move on now. Yeah, I'm going to have a ho hell of a time exploring this place for the collectibles on stream. Whenever that happens. I get the idea of these pipes, though. Um, I it, I feel like if they had if they, they just had a better drop shadow for this, it would be perfectly fine. Because I, I like the idea they're going with here. Because we've been since oh damn it, dude! Since Apatos Night, uh, we've been going through areas with like thin platforms that we need to uh, balance over, um, and this. They've gradually got made that more difficult as the game's progressed. Um, so I... It makes sense for them to have, like, these pipes that you can't, like, hang on the edge of. Like, if you just... Fall... If you, like, go on the side of the pipe, you're just gonna fall. And, um... Considering what we've been through, especially in, like, Empire City, with the spike uh, platforms and whatnot, I feel like that may it makes sense to uh, do that for this level. The only issue again is the is the lack of a drop shadow. Like, if they had that, then I feel like it would be perfectly fine. Because yeah, a lot a lot of this a lot of the stuff in this level, the game has been slowly building up to, like with the like building up with the difficulty of the specific challenges and whatnot. So. Yeah, this is definitely, I definitely say this is one of my favorite final levels in the series. Uh, I'd have to, like, think about if I, I mean, it might be my favorite, honestly. I'd have to think about that. Like, even given, like, it's issues that, oh, good. <laughs> even given, like, the, the issues I've mentioned. And I never said I was going to be doing this in one life. I want to make that clear. I, just be, like... This is diff this is considered one of the hardest levels in the series for a reason. I'm not going to pretend that I'm, like, not going to have any deaths or anything like that. Um, I've had some pretty good runs in the past in this level. Um, but, again, I'm not... I ain't going to... Oh, good. I ain't going to sit here and, and say, like, I'm going to do this in, like, one life and be perfect. I have done it before, but it's uh, insanely difficult to do that. Okay, that somehow worked. <clears throat> yeah, when the camera changes, just don't try and fire it. Just let it let it do its thing, and then yeah, be on your way. And there's a lot of stuff over there, but I don't know if we'll actually go there because it's pretty dangerous to do that. I mean, I can try. Oh, that was a bad idea. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. Yeah, there's like, even a checkpoint up there. I kind of want to show that off, because I've been there before, but I remember it being incredibly dangerous. 
I'll give it a try though. I mean, the fact that I'm also exploring a lot of dangerous areas is also the cause of a lot of my deaths here as well. Um, because I don't usually take this long in these areas. Um. Oh, dude. Yeah, this part is really, like, th this room in particular is, um, is, uh, not very well liked, I will say. I'm probably not going to get the best rank here. It, in a, in a C's run, I'd probably be just going for the regular safe routes and not be risking my life this much, but damn it, dude. I want to, I want to try. I can't get up there, dude. There has to be an easier way. There has to be an easier way. Alright, come on. Oh, dude. I'm just, okay, I'm just getting worse, I'm just getting worse now. I do appreciate the, uh, uh li life respawn, though. Man, I, this is a bit of a tangent, but I do find it really stupid when people say, like, um, oh, the, the respawning lives, like, right next to a checkpoint, and it's like, they're hiding the fact that it's a bad area that isn't, like, well designed or whatever. And it's like, no, not necessarily, because Mario games do that exact same thing a lot. Okay, good. <laughs> Mario games do that the same thing sometimes, like, games like giving you an extra life before a hard section is just pretty much guarantee that you'll never get a game over and like waste time. Um, like this is not a, a um, pr like a gaming practice that's like, exclusive to Sonic games. This is just something that happens in general with gaming. Um, so it's like, to say that it's a, an excuse for Sonic games to just hide bad game design is just silly to me. When like, again, stuff like Mario does that too and no one bats an eye. So I just find that really stupid. But yeah. Eh. Okay. Okay, we made it here. And there's a checkpoint. And we get a life! Nice. Okay, th this is, this area is not really seen, is not seen by most people because they tend to just go to the no normal path, but I do want to check this out because it's, again, it's not really known by a lot of people. Don't know what's up with those platforms. I mean, I'm kind of curious about this stuff myself because um, I don't, again, I don't tend to go here often myself either. So this is fascinating to me. What's the point of this? Like, what? Is there any point to that? No? I don't know. I have no idea. Okay, what do I do here? Oh, right, there's. Thing, huh? And then jump off. This is really cool, though. Oh, oh god. Okay. Does that all come back? Because if not, that's kind of crap. I mean, I can. Oh, it does. Okay, cool. Um, I'll, I'll have to go the other way, I guess. Ah. Uh, okay. Yeah! Alright. Alright, um... Is this up here? God, I, yeah, I love how explorative this stage is as well. Like, there's so many different areas you can find. You just take the time to look around and whatnot. Oh, God. Alright, that's fine. Alright. Uh... Alright, and now... Jump on this, and checkpoint. Okay, where are we ex exactly? Oh! What's that over there? That's oh, just... 
Oh, good. <laughs> Alright, that's fine, that's fine. Yeah, I like, the, I like the fact that they added um, these uh, checkpoints here as well, so you don't... If you do go to this, like, optional section, you don't at, have to, like, go from the beginning of the room again. So that's nice. And then... Go back over here. And now we're at the end of the room. So it's a, a, a nice little detour with a bunch of collectibles and whatnot. Very well thought out this level, I gotta say. It's a really well designed level. Um, and it's another reason why it's one of my favourite levels in the series. Like, it's just a lot, of, just a lot of things just that add up. Like, I love the, diffi the difficulty. I love how many different paths and secrets there are to find. Um, like, you'll be here for hours if you want to, like, find everything. Also, I love how um, the game, like, struggles to load the uh, next area. <laughs> sake. Yeah. In it's a lot it needs to load. Oh, okay. Uh, thanks, game. <laughs> uh, yes. Alright. Oh, dude. I should not be alive right now. Good lord almighty. And yeah, these things... You don't want to get caught in the in that because they'll just send you flying out of the map. Okay, I want to go over there. I've never actually been over here. What the heck? Oh, right. It's just... Okay. I don't know where... Okay, whatever. Yeah, again, there's a... There's a ton of stuff in this level that, like, I'm still unaware of, like, I'm nowhere near, like, learn, like, I'm nowhere near, of, like, seeing everything in the stage, and, again, that's, there's a lot to find, there's a lot to find here, um, it's just the fact that, like, considering the difficult, difficulty, it's, uh, not easy to, uh, find all that, so, and then, gotta be really quick on the quick time events. And again, I I'm, I mentioned it a few times before, but I'd love to play this on the Series X just to play this with no frame drops at 60 frames. Like, that just sounds like a wet dream to me. Oh, God. Someday, but not today. Ideally, that would be the next time I play the game, but we'll see. Okay, yeah, I know there's a bunch of stuff here. Oh god. Ah. Yeah, like death. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff in this area, I know that much. And the other thing that I mentioned before that I really like about this is the fact that it is switching between regular Sonic and the Werehog. And, uh... Oh, God. Alright. Okay, we'll go down this path. <laughs> Alright. Oh, jeez! Oh, damn it, dude! Okay. That's fine. Oh, dude. Okay. I think the other thing... <coughs> And the other thing to mention is, uh, there are hot dog missions for this, for this level, and, um, you know, considering how you can't die in those stages, yeah, good freaking luck. Those are not, definitely not easy. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. And, well, thankfully there's only one, um, type of mission. I think it's just time trial. But there are still three levels to it, so you do need to still play it three times. But at least you don't have, like, time attack, enemy rush, and, um, ring, the ring mission. At least it's only the time trial, which does mean that you need to, uh, not be, like, wasting time, especially on the third one. Like, that can get pretty tight, but still, at least you don't need to do nine versions of it. So this is an interesting thing. Um, you you can either continue on with uh, Sonic and just wall jump up here, like I'm doing now, or you can go 
and change the Werehog for another section. And I, I kind of like that. It's a nice way to have different pathways, like like really extreme different pathways. It's really easy to get hit by all these fans, though, uh, or propellers or what have you. What have you. Um, and then you go turn. It's a nice little shortcut as well because I think it does cut some of the, some of the level in half. Um, well, maybe not that much, but it is quicker than going through the other Werehog section. So, if you didn't know about that, then they, there you go. There's a little shortcut for you if you want if you want to beat the level a bit faster. Now this room. Okay, the game's kind of glitching out a bit. <laughs> um, this room here. Um, if I didn't pull that le lever, um, these robots will just keep, like, spawning in endlessly and they'll just never stop. Um, so, that can cause some frustration where you don't know what's going on. You, thi you think you need to kill all the, all the enemies, but they just keep on coming and uh, they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming and, <laughs> yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, you just keep on staying in like sad days and you don't know what's going on so yeah that's what you're meant to do you're meant to just uh you're meant to just uh go is that an, is that all of them okay um you're meant to just pull the lever and just move on with your life so yeah don't bother trying to fight all the robots because they'll just keep spawning they won't stop like they, they won't stop just just ignore them, and I don't even think they get your XP either, so it's not even worth it in the like from f like for that either. So yeah, just don't bother. Here's another section with the swinging. You gotta be quick at this because they go into the walls really quite really fast. You be careful where you're landing. All right, gotta wait for the fire. Oh god, I need to land. Yeah, a lot of precarious jumps here. So you've got to be very careful with what you're doing. Yeah, I... I then... I remember I mentioned this as well in the... Uh, in Jungle Draw at Night on the Wii. Whereas in that version with the flying guys, it... You were uh, just swing on them until... And like, have them move you to the next area. And it can be... That can be kind of a mess when you have other guys just shooting at you. And I like it a lot more in this version where you aren't like swinging on them. You're just, you you're just like using them as a. I don't even know like a, a like a platform boost or whatever you want to call it. Like you just use them to give you a, basically just uh, gives you a little jump, and uh, then you just move on. So when there when there are like enemies shooting at you in those sections, you aren't just hanging onto the flying enemies for like 10 years and just hoping you don't get hit so i like that a lot more here it make it makes a lot more sense and it works with the design a lot better in my opinion but yeah we're pretty much at the end here we just have a couple of giant titans to fight which go down like punks now because uh well not i mean they still take a bit of a beating but they aren't really anything to write home about. I almost pressed the wrong button. <gasps> yeah, funny thing though, um, the fact that the Titan, titan enemies um, gives you such a massive point bonus for like the critical attack makes it so S ranking the stage is fairly easy, <laughs> actually, funnily enough, because you can just use those, um, you can just use the Critical attacks on the enemies at the end of the stage and uh, fail at that but because you suck, I guess. Um, oh, dude. Yeah, just do this. I don't think I need to really fight all these guys, but... I just want to show off that even after you've died like tons of times, you can still 
end up getting an S rank from just doing like all these uh, critical attacks at the end. Because uh, yeah, there's a decent amount of enemies and there's like three big guys and it just gives you ridiculous amounts of XP uh, um, of points. So yeah. At least I hope it gives me an S rank, otherwise this um, this game's gonna <laughs> make me look like a like a liar. But it should at least give me an A rank. That's for sure. That's for sure. I didn't mean to kill him, but that's fine I guess. Now let's kill the wizard first. I think there's a few wizards that show up here. Yeah, it's no. I will say this. This is this last room here is nowhere near as annoying, uh, nowhere near as annoying as the final room in the Wii version with the electric wizards and whatnot. Like that, go that can get pretty frustrating if you're if you aren't uh, careful. And it's just this guy, I believe. Alright. Oh! Easy now. Nice. I love that extended combo of that move. Now I should be able to just finish him off. Nice. Okay. Hopefully that'll be enough for an S. I'll grab all the stuff around here just, just in case. And yeah, there's no medals here uh, either. By the way, um, this is the last stage, so it doesn't really make sense for them to be here. There are again, there are still like books and uh, CDs and all that stuff to find, so there are still collectibles, there's still reason to explore the level, just not for medals, so there you go. Alright, now let's see. 30 minutes. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, A rank. I probably would have gone an S if I didn't, uh, like, <laughs> if I if I managed to kill the first Titan in this room with the critical attack instead of just killing him normally, it probably would have given me enough for an S rank, but it is what it is. But yeah, that's uh, Eggman Land. I know. I I mean, it doesn't really matter. Well, I mean, it does because we are going to do the DLC, um, so I guess life. Because uh, we're. Gonna need a lot of um, uh, defense. Like, that's very important for this. Um, I'll build up some strength. I don't remember what the max level levels are for these, but yeah. Hopefully, we'll get to that. And now we have to. Well, first off, we have to uh, restore the final continent. And this last piece just takes like forever to get back in place because plot.
go back to being sealed within the core, and my work will be done. That's great, Chip. Yup. Thank you, Sonic. It's all thanks to you. <laughs> yeah! yeah. <laughs> it's far from over, though. We still haven't fought Dark Gaia yet, so... Yeah, there's still a bit... There's still a little bit left. And just casually gets shot shot away <laughs> and then just never gets brought up he's just perfectly fine afterwards like like nothing happened <laughs> it's oh god that it's just so random Basically, just the <laughs> it pretty much just looks like a beefed up version of the robot we saw in the uh, in the intro. So that's I mean that's a, a kind of a cool uh, callback, I guess, if it's intended as one. This is a really cool sequence, though. Now I will say, as much as I do enjoy playing as a Warhog, I will admit it would be a lot cooler and more fun if you if you like did parkour stuff like that more often throughout the game. Like it is what it is, but still, they like, that the Warhog could could admittedly admittedly been more fun than he he is, but you know. <laughs> 